Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to send an ALV output as an email attachment and we finished with the practical part. Now it's a turn to understand each and everything in the debugging mode so that if something is not clear, we will get the clarity on the same also. So what I will do, I will go for the program. This is the program which we created. So firstly, we will understand the email sending process for internal user means within SAP. Then we will go for external recipient. Just for the better clarity, I am just commenting the code. Anyways, we can go for both airport together also. Just for the better clarity, I will go for one at a time. Firstly, I will show you the process for internal user. Then I will show you the process for external user. Just for the better clarity. So I am commenting the process for external user. So this is our external user. I am commenting this part. Then I will uncomment. Okay. This is the process for the external user. So we have one internal user. That is my login ID. Yes. I am activating. Based upon the debugging, we'll see if some changes are required, we'll do the code change also. I will run. Now, this is the date. Firstly, I will check is there any sales order for this today's date or not. Then I will change that date because it should not be the case. There is no sales order in VBAK table for today's date. If I will go for number of entries, okay, two sales orders are there. This. It might be the case in your system, whenever you are running, sales order are not there for that particular date. You can simply change that date because ultimately we need to go for learning perspective. I will put the breakpoint at first executable statement itself. I will run. Now, this checkbox is ticked. Yes, I will go for execute. Desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Yes. Firstly, we are fetching that date. This is our date. It will fetch the data of these three columns from VBAK table and data will come into this internal table. I am executing. Into this internal table. Yes, we have two sales order. 1642 and 1. Yes, 1642 and 1. I will go for desktop 3. Now, this email sending checkbox is tick. Yes, this if condition is true. So, firstly, we are going for first step. We are preparing a text format for ALV data. It means whatever the data is there for individual column, we are concatenating into one single column and the separator is pi. So, firstly, we are going for labels. These are our three labels. We are concatenating into this work area. Yes, done. We are appending it to internal table. If we'll see this internal table, yes, internal table has one record for the labels. And this is single column data. Yes, now. Now we will move further. Now this internal table has two records. It means after this header, after this header, we will get two records also in the internal table. We are going for loop. We are passing the amount to this character variable. You all know, yes, at that time we did the type casting. Just see, the amount is 15. Whenever I am passing it to character variable, have you seen I am getting the blank spaces? You all know how to remove these blank spaces through condense. That's why I told you debugging is most powerful tool. Sometimes you have written the logic, but when you do the debugging, you will get the actual thing that what are the various changes required. So I will do the changes. I'll just come out from the debugging and we'll start from this step itself. We'll go for our program. I will go to change mode of the program and I will write condense so that that blank spaces will remove. 
and intentionally I have not written at that point of time so that in the debugging we can understand. After condense only it is going, yes. We start from this step itself now because we understood that, that part already in the debugging mode. I'll put a breakpoint now here itself. I'm running. I will just do F8 so that control will directly come to this breakpoint. Done. So we have labels into this internal table. Now this loop will continue two times. Now this LV amount, we are getting blank spaces. Now you can see after condense, yes, blank space is removed, yes. Now we are concatenating and we are appending. Now we have second record into internal table. This is our data. This is our label. Label is only one time. Now this loop will continue for second record. And you can see we have three records into this internal table. Three records, yes. But all this is in single column itself. These two are our data. This one is our label. And the separator is pi. So first step, prepare a text format for ALV table. Then after that, we are converting it to binary format. Yes. As of now, you can see this binary internal table is blank. We are passing that text format data. It will convert it to binary format. I'm doing F6. I will not go inside the function module. Anyways, it is SAP function module. So I'm executing this through F6. Now you can see we have binary data. We have one record. Yes, that is been binary format. Now, now after that, we are simply, simply going for third step. Create the send request. First two steps done. We are initiating the send request process. You can see as of now, the object of BCS class is blank. Whenever this method will call, the object of BCS class will create. Now you can see the object of BCS class has created. Now we are going for the creation of the SAP user. Now you can see the object of this SAP user class is initial. Whenever this method will execute, it will create. Now the object of this SAP user class has created. Now we are adding this SAP user as a recipient using the object of BCS class and we are passing. Now recipient has been added. Up to this level, it's done. We have created the SAP user and we have added the recipient. So first five steps done. Now we are creating that document. Document means we are going for subject, body of the mail and attachment. Now, now we are describing this internal table. This internal table has how many records? Two records. So LV underscore lines, two. We are concatenating. And you can see our subject is ready. If I will show you the subject, this is our subject. This is our today's date, number of sales order, two. Now, now we are preparing body of the mail. LT text, blank. One record, two record, three record, and now this is our fourth record. Now you can see the body of the mail is ready. Now this is our subject, this is our body, yes, and we are passing it to document class. And you can see the object of document class is blank as of now. Whenever this method will execute, the object of document class will create. And you can see the object has been created. Now we are going for attachment. If I'm going for attachment, this is the attachment subject. Sales orders underscore whatever the date is there. We are passing. We are passing the subject binary data, which we got from this particular step, our binary data. Yes. And it will act as a attachment. And we are calling through object because it's an instance method. Yes. Done. Up to this level, it's done. 
Now we are setting that document. Yes, we are going for setting that document. Yes, you all know we have done the process BCS individual steps, document BCS individual step. How that document we will add with the help of this method. So we are going for, we are calling set document method with the help of object of BCS class and we are passing the object of document BCS class. Done. This. So first eight steps. Now we are going for activating or deactivating immediate sending. As of now, we are going for activation. Done. Now we will go for send. Yes. Now we are going for send. You can see as of now, this variable is blank. If this variable is returning the result, true result, it means the document has been sent successfully. Now, you can see it is returning X. It means the document has been sent successfully. Anyways, this step is optional because as of now, I am going within SAP. But yes, I will execute this. If this is not initial, we are going for commit to that. Done. Now, after that, we are simply displaying the ALV also because now we will display the ALV. Mail process done. Now, this is our ALV. Now, how to check the mail or how to check the inbox, how a SAP user can check the inbox. We have one of the most important transaction code and that is our SBWE. And what is the full form? SAP Business Workplace. With the help of this particular transaction code, you can check your inbox, outbox. It is just like a mail. You have whatever the mails in your inbox, whatever the mails is in the outbox, you can check with the help of this particular transaction code. One of the extremely important transaction code, SBWP. So if I will go for this particular transaction code, SBWP, SAP Business Workplace. You can see, it is the business workplace of R Mehta. It means it is my login ID. I will go to my inbox. Just see, it is just like a mail inbox. Yes, it's just like a mail. If I will go for my inbox, I will go for unread document. This is the latest unread document. I will simply, simply see. You can see, yes, this is our title. This is what we gave number of sales order. To, yes, if I will simply go for display. Now, at that time, I told you, you will be able to see the, the document class, what the document class we gave raw at that point of time. Yes, it is attachment symbol because we have an attachment also. I will display this particular mail. I will go for double click. You can see this is the subject of the mail we gave and anyone can easily get the understanding. This is the body of the mail which we prepared. And you can see, this is the subject of the attachment, sales order underscore the date. Now, if I will open this Excel, you will be able to see that data. If I will go for yes, you can see we have the data. Sales document number, username, amount, we are able to see. Now, many people will say, that data is coming into one column, how it is benefited to the customer. Just see, simple. We will select the column. If I will go for data, we have a property here in the Excel, text to columns. We'll go for next. What is the separator between the columns? Pi. If I will go for next, finish. Have you seen? This is how. Anyways, after that, yes, we will simply, simply just move the core data to different, different columns. But yes, we will send the data in this format. After that, yes, customer team will simply, simply to divide into different, different columns. Yes. Now, what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely important because if some confusion is still there, it will be automatically clear after this video. So into this particular video, 
we understood each and everything in that debugging mode. So I commented the logic for external user just for the better clarity. I commented the logic for the external user. When we started debugging, we understood that for the amount, whenever we are going for type casting, blank spaces are coming. So we simply use the contents. After that, we simply saw each and everything in that debugging mode. Yes, at the last, how we can check for internal users. This is for internal users. Yes, anyways, for external recipient, you need to check Gmail or Yahoo. Within SAP, if you want to check the mail, we can check through the transaction code SBWP. This is one of the important transaction code. It is just like a SAP inbox for that particular user, SAP mail inbox for that user. You can check your outbox inbox through this particular transaction code. Then we simply went to this transaction code and we checked each and everything. We are able to see subject body of the mail attachment each and everything now in the next video i will show you the process for external user and so many important points will come into the next video also so that's it in this video thank you